to my spring summer decor video. If you guys haven't seen part one of this video, I'll leave the link down below. This video will make a lot more sense if you watch that first. If you've already seen it, welcome back. I had a lot of fun at filming this video for you guys. This is my first time ever decorating for spring slash summer. We've been living in this house going on three years now. It'll actually be three years in December. And you know, it's it's a long process. It's definitely taken us a while to fully furnish our house and we still don't have it fully furnished. We have about 70% of it done. I'm really glad that I took my time with it. Uh, see, if you guys are in the middle of furnishing your house, don't get frustrated. I know a lot of people get frustrated that they don't furnish it quickly enough. You know, take your time. It's a lot of fun to pick out items that, you know, that you really love. Your home is truly the only place in the world that is really yours, if you think about it. It's like you go out into the world, you go to work, you socialize, and then you come home. This is like your bubble, so why not fill it with things that you love and just create a comfortable, zenful space, something that really represents who you are and just honestly just something that makes you happy. That's really what it comes down to. That's why decorating is so important to me. And you know, it took a while for my husband to really understand where I was coming from, but now he's totally on board. And every time he goes and sits down in the living room or the game room, he's like, you know, so thankful towards me. And he tells me how he loves that that I was able to make our house a home, and that is just forms my heart. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check out my haul from all the things that I purchased for this video. I'll leave the link down below and I give you guys all the information of where I purchased everything. But I will also have a blog post on everything that I did here today in the video that you guys are about to watch and also from part one. Um, so I'll definitely have pictures and all the information, all of that on my blog. Uh, from a purplechair.com and of course I'll link it down below. So the living room is all done and I love the way it turned out. I really really love the blue in here. Let's see if I can there we go. And I just love how fluffy and soft these pillows make the living room look and this ottoman I purchased at Home Goods a while back and I had it in a different room. I didn't really know what to do with it and I finally decided to put it in here because it would go perfect with the baby blue theme that I have going on or the pale blue. I don't know what kind of blue you would call this. But I absolutely love the way it turned out. And if you guys haven't seen my haul, I will link that down below and I talk about these pillows and where I got everything in this room. If I haven't already mentioned it, it's in that haul. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. I kept the white ruffle pillow there, the one that was behind the black flower pillow, because it still goes with it, but I did get rid of all the black. And I restyled the coffee table because it's completely different. I've never had an Ottoman coffee table before, so this was a lot of fun for me. It was something new. And I decided to just stack books. And oh, um, I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday about going to Z Gallery, and that is what I picked up. It's a candle snuffer, I believe that's what it's called, and you just basically use it to put out a, a candle so you don't have to blow. And I really like it. I think it's pretty and it adds, you know, a little bit of interest to the coffee table. And then back there I still have my mahogany candle going and I just use the same books that I had in the previous coffee table. And then to the right of that I have the same mirror tray that I purchased from Home Goods. And I pretty much kept everything the same with the exception of the candlesticks. I took those down and I replaced them with these flowers. And um, the flowers, again, they are part of uh, my last haul video. So you can go ahead and head over there to get all the details on it. I love the way it turned out though. And then in the very back, I left it uh, completely empty. 
so that I had a place for my laptop. Let me walk over there and show you. Okay, so you can see a view from the top. And that's the spot that I left empty to put my laptop. And for those of you wondering, I got my my laptop skin from Etsy. Can you just do a search for LV skin? And it should pop up. Yeah, I love, love, love this new layout. I think it's so cozy. Let me see if I can show you. This is what my view would look like when I'm watching TV or when we're just hanging out. Just very cozy. Oh, and please excuse the lights. And these are the other two pillows. I put them in the little chairs that I have um, on both sides of the TV. And over here. Oh, there's the old coffee table. I need to wait for my husband to get home so he can help me move it. It's kind of heavy. But there's the other chair. And the mirror. This mirror is also from Home Goods. In case I forgot to mention it. And then this, I didn't really change anything in this coffee table. I just added this candle. It's from Target. It's called Fresh Linen. It smells so clean and fresh. It doesn't have to cost you a lot to take your home from winter decorations to spring. You can just add a few little things like a pillow and just a little accent colors to really, um, to really give your room a completely different look.